In this video, I'll be talking about proof of work and proof of stake. Blockchain works on a consensus mechanism to ensure the safety of the network. Now, proof of work is one such mechanism that doesn't allow double spending in a network and keeps the integrity intact. Essentially, when a transaction has been validated, miners compete to confirm that transaction as it makes them eligible for the reward. Now to confirm the transaction, a certain kind of hash will be needed. Therefore, one has to pass their data through a hash function and meet the required condition. This calls for large computing power. This means miners who can afford to run those large functions have a higher chance of getting rewarded. This means that not only a huge amount of energy resources are being spent, but also it may lead to centralization by larger mining pools in blockchain networks leading to the possibility of 51% attack. Therefore, proof of stake was introduced in 2011. Proof of stake works on the principle that instead of miners competing against each other to confirm the transaction and mining new blocks, the network chooses certain people to do the job and they are called validators. To become a validator, one deposits a certain amount of cryptocurrency as a safety deposit. So, the greater a person holds a stake, higher the chance of being chosen as a validator. So, in case there is any fraudulent activity by the validator, they will lose a part of their stake. Unlike proof of work, proof of stake doesn't require huge power requirements, nor does it have danger of monopolization by mining pools. Therefore, it is considered a better alternative compared to proof of work. So this was proof of stake and proof of work. To know more about such technical term, subscribe to our channel now. Thank you.